Fat Man, Psycho Killer, Machinist. You know who we're talking about, the one and only Christian Bale. The versatile and critically acclaimed actor is also super hot and has an amazing physique with charming black eyes and a charismatic personality. With so much to offer, Hollywood celebrities just fall for Bale one by one. I mean, who can blame them when you have a crush like Christian Bale? So if you are also wondering about who these actresses are, well, say no more, because in this video, we are going to talk about the celebrities that thirsted over Christian Bale. 1. Martha Stewart Famous television personality, actress, and best friend of Snoop Doggy Dog, Martha Stewart confessed to having a big crush on Christian Bale on live TV. She said, I have lots of crushes. I love having crushes, but at the end, I think it's Christian Bale. She also went on to say that Bale looked really good in American Psycho. Well, the whole concept of the movie was to make Bale look good, so that's that. I have lots of crushes. I love having crushes, but lately, um, I think it's Christian Bale. I just watched American Psycho where he looks really good. Appearing in a 1983 commercial for Pac-Man cereal at the age of eight apparently put Bale on the road to becoming a video game hobbyist. I played video games in my entire growing up years, he said in 2009. One of my favorites is Super Mario Brothers. I wouldn't sleep until I finished the game, you know? 2. Bella Thorne American actress Bella Thorne was seen crushing over Christian Bale on The Jimmy Kimmel Show. Talking about her encounter with Chris, she got all excited and said that meeting him made her entire life. Well, that is too much, but what can you say? It is what it is. And looking at him, I have no idea what to say. And he's like, you don't understand. My daughter, this, this show records over all my motorcycle shows. I never get to watch my motorcycle shows. I'm only watching Take It Up. And I, it literally made my day. I, it, I no, would it, think so. It made my, it made my year. Yeah, no, no, sure. It made my life. Yeah. Bale has appeared in everything from action films to thrillers to psychological dramas, but it is unlikely you will see him in a romantic comedy at any point. The actor became horrified when the subject was broached in a 2018 interview with The Guardian. Have you ever enjoyed a romantic comedy? He asked his inquisitor. I was asked to do a romantic comedy recently, and I thought they'd lost their minds. 3. Jennifer Lawrence well, you might be surprised to see her on this list, but the Academy Award-winning actress and model and a fellow co-star of Christian Bale, Jennifer Lawrence really bragged about having a makeout session with Christian Bale on the movie sets. Well, that is something to be proud of. I mean, this is next-level thirsting, but who can blame her and all these Hollywood actresses for falling for him? She further said that it was incredible having that scene with him. You have, like, Batman, born, yeah. and then I, Hunger uh, Games. I made out like with Batman, so there. <laughs> He almost lost his role in American Psycho to Leonardo DiCaprio. Christian Bale was originally cast by director Mary Heron to play serial killer, or maybe just totally delusional, Patrick Bateman in American Psycho, 2000. However, Bale was dropped for Leonardo DiCaprio, who subsequently decided to star in the film Beach instead. Bale was then recast, and the rest is history. 4. Katie Holmes co-star of Bale in the Batman movie, Katie Holmes in an interview crushed on Bale and was blushing while talking about how Christian Bale rescued her as Batman. True fans of Katie Holmes know very well that she doesn't fall for many guys around Hollywood, but it's different in the case of Christian Bale. She said, there is a real thing about being rescued by Batman and the magic was definitely there when Christian is in his whole outfit. And it's like, I'm not supposed to buy into it, but I got to kick out. Very surreal to be rescued by Batman, and uh, the magic was definitely there when Christian's in his own, the whole outfit, and it's like, I know I'm, I'm not supposed to buy into it, but I got a kick out of it. He auditioned for the role of Jack Dawson in Titanic. Christian Bale came very close to getting the role that was ultimately filled by Leonardo DiCaprio. However, producers eventually passed on him because they thought it wouldn't be fair to have two British actors portraying two American characters. The other Brit was, of course, Kate Winslet, who played Jack's love interest, Rose. 5. Amy Adams Award-winning actress and the co-star of Christian Bale, Amy Adams was highly appreciative of Bale to a point where she was seen thirsting over him. She said a lot of things, but to conclude, she said that whenever she is in a role with Bale, she is the one in control. 
and it is always a pleasure working with him. And lastly, that she kind of liked controlling Christian Bale in movies. Well, I mean, who doesn't want that, having the privilege of controlling the big Batman himself? I am kind of controlling him, and yet <coughs> it's true. I'm like, I kind of like true. that. He gained 100 pounds for Batman. Less than five months after losing 60 pounds for his role in The Machinist, Bale put on 100 pounds to play Batman in Batman Begins. The actor put on the weight by following a high-carb diet and doing three-hour training sessions every day. The intense workout resulted in 60 pounds of added muscle. 6. Angela Serafin Co-star of Christian Bale in the movie The Promise, Angela was seen crushing over Bale and how tall he was and how she was impressed by him. She said his beard was like that, and he was like six feet two, and it was super impressive. Yeah. Here and his beard was like that, and he's, he's like he's like six feet two, and it was super impress impressive. Here. A lot of women from Hollywood fall for Bale's beard, like there is something magical about it that we cannot see, or we are just too dumb-witted to acknowledge that. As Kanye West said, I guess we'll never know. The actor has always been adamant about keeping his personal life very personal. He detests interviews because he doesn't think his life is anyone else's concern, and he feels that the business of movie star journalism is detrimental to acting and telling stories. Bale has never shied away about his opinion. I want to be able to just act and never do any interview, but I don't have the balls to stand up to the studio and say, I'm never doing another interview in my life. So guys, this is it for today's video, and if you enjoyed it, then please make sure to like and subscribe to the channel, and hit that bell icon so you never miss a video from our channel.